Okay guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Modded Wars. I am sorry to have not uploaded for the last week or so. I've been away for uh, literally a week and before that I didn't have internet so I couldn't actually upload or do anything and I was kind of in the middle of not being able to do anything. So I'm very freaking sorry. I'm back once again and before I left, I have seen that most of you guys that wanted to see my actual base on how it actually played out and how it is right now. So what I'm going to be doing is a base tour and... Honestly guys, this thing behind me is pretty freaking big and I'm pretty sure it's very well defended from what I've gathered so far and what I think. But anyways, honestly this base has taken me a while to make. Most of this base is actually made by me because I was trying to actually kind of make a kind of like a military sort of thing where it kind of like has a theme to it as well. But I don't know if I actually worked out. It kind of looks like a freaking prison, but I don't know. It just... It kind of looks cool from the out of viewpoint. <laughs> but this whole base is surrounded with barbed wire. So no one can literally like build up or literally jump across or anything. They would have to actually use a helicopter or literally like go from the entrance point, which is like around this base, which is literally on the other side. But they cannot literally climb up. They can't use cobblestone or anything like that. They actually have to pretty much go through the entrance, which is highly defended and probably like a helicopter but I'm working on that I have got pretty big turrets which are literally placed in those towers and yeah they're ready to freaking shoot guys so if anyone is going to come a hell is going to break out <laughs> but yeah honestly it didn't actually take that much resource to actually make this much of barbed wire like I think it took I think maybe six iron or three iron to make 16 barbed wire which is actually not that bad it wasn't actually that expensive at least that's a thought. And yeah, like this whole thing is actually pretty much like pretty well defended. I think I've missed out this section right here um, because I think I've run out of iron. But I am going to work on that. I am going to try and make some more barbed wire. But it does take a little bit of resource, even if like it's little, like it still costs for a huge amount of barbed wire. But yeah, anyways, main entrance is actually going to be headed up into this base. It's actually through here. I need to actually make like a path or something so people can actually see it better. But at the moment, there is no path. This is literally what it is right now. And I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm kind of sad about it. I do need a path because it's kind of just like a meh. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs a path. I'm definitely going to work on that. I'm going to make something cool. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, we need, there's no path. <laughs> so anyways, this is a huge farm, which I've made myself. Um, it's literally just there to make food because on and off there is like animals nearby sometimes there isn't sometimes there is and it's just like on and off but this is like the main source of food which we get from our base <laughs> and then also we have like a little farm here and then we had sheep in this area and then we had cows in here but we can't get any more because yeah they have been disabled I think they have been re enabled but at the moment yeah, we just don't really need them because we've got a lot of food anyways. So this is the main entrance and how you get inside is literally just walk up the stairs and we have like a cool entrance right here which is, has like a rusty door and you just open it which is actually pretty freaking cool. It's just an entrance, ordinary entrance, it has nothing inside, it's just like a tower just to get into the base. Um, but yeah, anyways, before we get into the base, I just want to quickly show off the runway which is insanely freaking huge. Um, I did get Mike to help me out with the runway because I did want to make it pretty. I didn't really want to fill it out with cobble. And yeah, we kind of just got some more. But this is just decoration purposes only. So it's it's cool. It looks cool. <laughs> um, but I'm going to actually try and get some yellow wool. So it actually looks like a proper freaking runway. And this thing is big. It can actually hold like a, the biggest plane which is on the server. Which I'm actually going to be making probably next video or something. Because I do want to test out some new planes. And I want to actually fly them and do some stuff with them. <laughs> so yeah, this is big enough to pretty much do anything with. Uh, but people can actually get inside the base if they were to land on here. And then yeah, just kind of that's an issue. But nevertheless, we can set up turrets which are already over there. And even if they are going to get close or not, we can literally just spray them down which, with the turrets which are there. So it's pretty cool. And we have like a tower which is right there. But we're actually going to get inside the base and we're going to pretty much show you off 
whatever I have actually made. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the right area of this base, which is like the kind of like the main living headquarters. Um, first of all, we have like a weaponry, which we just make weapons. We make pretty much like tanks, helicopters, whatever we need to. So far, we didn't actually make that much. We just have whatever we need and it's not that much <laughs> it's definitely not that much but it's it's gonna work out somehow okay and then we have loads of food leather and whatever items we need which are up here it's just literally like also like a storage area as well just to use up this part of this like house slash weaponry area and just yeah have it there just whatever you need you can just put it down and then what we have here is a smeltery and I, I love this doll. <laughs> it just looks so freaking cool. It's literally a huge smeltery. It has a lot of capacity, which you can literally just smelt whatever you need to. Uh, if it's foods, iron ore, or anything. <laughs> it's literally big enough to do whatever you need to. And it's just there. And it, looks, it looks cool. Like, it kind of looks cool. <laughs> and this is our main living headquarters where we live at the moment it's me and it's wise which actually lives in here we do need to actually make probably another set of barracks because we have another two people that are actually going to be joining us and are probably going to be playing so hopefully yeah it's going to be fun <laughs> but at the moment we don't really have that much actually it's wise this is uh, it's wise area um he actually has quite a bit of ammo and some birds and stuff so it's actually pretty cool like oh hello he's got a freaking rocket launch okay okay as well as you go <laughs> you got a love armor it's actually pretty cool um yeah it's cool and this is my area which i have like pretty much nothing i got pretty much nothing guys okay like i only got like nearly two sets of lupine armor plus the one i have on me which is free and that's literally it <laughs> like we don't really have much at the moment we still need to actually go ahead and grind but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the living headquarters. But what we have here, we have loads of towers up across the base, and it looks freaking amazing. It looks like kind of still like a prison, but it's it's a protected prison. No one has to know. <laughs> so we have loads of freaking torrents. If anyone was to come by, then we can literally just shoot them down. We can do anything, and this is well protected. But we have to be online. Um, what I want to do is make these turrets into actual automated turrets, which are going to be automated by themselves. If anyone's going to get close, then they're going to go off. <laughs> so if anyone's going to be here, then they won't be here for a long time. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, that ship is just an ordinary ship, which we had since, I think, second episode of the modded SMP. And it's just stayed ever since. It's just like useful to pretty much get wood whatever we need it's got a big capacity so it's 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 a good thing to have <laughs> so at the moment that's it for this area we have just ordinary stuff in here um like the things that we need to make or like the things that we're gonna have to uh smelt down or use or whatever it's literally here um and plus these chests right here as well which are temporary like we're definitely gonna have to work something out as well uh we might have to put them in there or even make like a make be a small storage area but at the moment this is what is at the moment <laughs> and over here what we wanted to do is we want to make like most of the machinery area here and honestly it's was actually made it pretty compact and it actually looks really cool and it's yeah it's pretty freaking cool so at the moment the machinery is here and it's most likely going to stay we want to probably add some more if we need to, but at the moment this is what we definitely need to use. And yeah, it's it's not big, it's actually kind of small. I actually like that it's actually compact. So it's cool. <laughs> um, over here, like I kind of told it's wise, like he can literally run free with his wild imagination. He can literally do here whatever he wants to. Like if he wants to make another contraption of whatever he wants to he can like i'm not into like any machinery so i'm just gonna leave it to him <laughs> uh, but if he's not gonna use this area i did actually want to make a prison like not a very big one but probably a tiny one to fit like maybe three people or so if anything actually does go bad 
<laughs> and we could actually hold in captives and get a ransom or something. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for like the kind of like the right area of the space. It is actually kind of cool. Like I kind of do want to make more stuff. Like at the moment, it's kind of it's 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 a small thing. It's just just a small base. <laughs> but anyways, we have this scout tower, which is actually here. It's literally just used to pretty much just look around. If anyone's actually going to come by, then just, yeah, we can literally just spot them out. Um, we do have actually a few layers, though, in case, like, we need to have a higher ground or whatever. It's here, and it's actually well protected. So, you know, if anyone's actually going to come from that area or that area, then they can't really shoot us down unless they have probably a like, rocket launcher or something. But... We don't have to worry about that at the moment <laughs> because we do have to, I need to actually place down one or two over there just for safety precautions. <laughs> so at the moment, the scout tower is actually going to remain how it is right now. Nothing else is actually going to be changing about the scout tower because it doesn't really need to. It's kind of like just an ordinary tower. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving down from this scout tower, I'm just going to jump down and just come here which is actually our main bunker area. It's under progress. It has literally nothing done to it yet. It just has a hole and just like things dug down. Uh, we do have an enchantment table over there if we do need to have any enchantments. Uh, but yeah, it's honestly just that at the moment. We are going to plan and do something else with this. Like we do want to make like a room here and have like maybe a station or something, but we have to still work on that. So yeah and we don't have any conclusion what to do here so yeah hopefully we do i do actually need to talk to it's wise i haven't actually talked to him for ages and i just need to figure out what we want to do <laughs> so at the moment that bunker is how it is it's not going to change it's just going to probably change at the bottom um maybe make some rooms and like a proper secret entrance of bigger bunker or something as i did in my previous smp but it's still on the progress. It's going to take us time. Okay, guys. <laughs> um, anyways, we kind of do want to make a kind of like a lab here. What we want to do is probably have like a stairway going down towards like our nukes and missiles, which is actually over here. It's just planned out. It's just with dirt. It's still on, on the progress, guys. Okay. So we're going to have to dug this out and just pretty much have it underneath so we can just launch them whenever we need to. But what we're going to have is pretty much just nukes here. Like, I think we have a decent area just for those nukes and missiles if we are to actually use them, which we're not going to use them right now because, you know, no one's bad yet. <laughs> um, so definitely have to work on those. Uh, we do have to actually dig down a bit deeper because it just needs a lot of, yeah, area to work with. <laughs> and since the new missiles actually have came out, like... This mod pack actually has been updated, and I think there's actually new missiles which are actually going to be shown later on and hopefully made. <laughs> um, definitely gonna want to see how big they are and just test them out. Like, I don't feel like they do mad amount of damage, so we probably go and test them out on the, like an area which is very far from everyone's base and far from our base, so we don't do any freaking damage and cause chaos <laughs> um after all we have to protect people and not kill them but yeah at the moment this is actually it we are actually still working on loads of freaking stuff we are trying to do as much as we can definitely going to make a lot new stuff but just need to work on it with its wise and other teammates which are actually going to be coming in soon and hopefully it's going to work out well and hopefully it's actually going to yeah work out hopefully and look very cool and yeah <laughs> um but the last thing i actually want to show you guys which is actually uh this area over there it's literally just a plain surface which is like literally like this but it's just like in midair what i want to do if you guys have seen my episode when we actually got a contract and received our payment at the end of the video we actually saw a missile a huge freaking missile which was i think in Someone's base, I forgot the name. Um, so, oh yeah, it was Jet Hockey. Okay, it was Jet Hockey's base. He had a huge missile, which actually, I found what it does. What it does, it, a it actually tracks down all the planes that actually are above us. So like, if anything was to come, 
it will just look onto it and just we can just shoot and we can just shoot anyone down which is actually an insane defense we definitely want that we're gonna definitely put it on top of that and just work on the stuff around the base just make it a bit more defense and secure <laughs> um not that it is already like this is like the only entrance and plus that but yeah this is definitely like the only entrance that I can actually get in or the top but you know is it's it's still on the progress so yeah it's definitely something i want to see someone actually do and see someone actually come to the base <laughs> but anyways that is actually it for this episode i am sorry that it's actually kind of like not much but like it's average amount i still want to make a lot more but you guys actually did want the pastel so like i just showed you what i have done so far so hopefully you guys do like it i hope that like it's cool and everything I did, I did actually spend a lot of time making this. So, yes, um, I'm definitely going to be talking to this wise about making it a bit cooler and just have more stuff in this. So, yeah, that's that's literally it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you have liked any part of it, if you have laughed, smiled, anything like that, then please give a like, comment down your thoughts, comment section down below, and subscribe if you need to keep up with the content. And if you guys haven't hit that alert button yet, then please hit it now so you'll be always learning about all the new videos. <laughs> and until later guys peace out have a nice day peace